Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things. And today I am sharing just a weird eBay international shipping thing issue that occurred um, and sort of letting you guys know what happened and how it ended. But essentially I shipped something internationally and around 10 days after I shipped it, I suddenly got a charge from eBay for $33, which basically said it was an additional shipping charge to ship this item through the eBay International Shipping Program. I'll let you know what happened. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. I recently ran into an issue where I shipped something to Europe through the eBay International Shipping Program, which is called the GSP or Global Shipping Program. And essentially how that works is the buyer is charged a certain fee based on the weight of the item. And it ships, I think to Tennessee, I'm not sure, but it ships somewhere in the US where I believe they open it, repackage it, like they open it, check it, repackage it, and then ship it off to wherever its international destination is. I have done several of these. I do these quite frequently. It's always without a hitch. It's never been an issue. Recently, I shipped two small, tiny, tiny dog harnesses. They're pink. I'll show you a picture of them right here. They weighed about four to five ounces each, and the buyer purchased two, meaning it came out with packaging, which was nothing but a poly mailer um, or a poly bag. I want to say they came in at 12 ounces. So it was under one pound. I believe the eBay international shipping that was charged to the buyer based on that weight was $12, which I think is kind of a bargain to ship something from the US to Germany. But what happened was about 10 days after I shipped this out, before it had even been delivered to the customer, I received a message from eBay that, no, you know what? It wasn't even a message. What happened was all of a sudden I showed a negative in my balance on eBay. And so when I sold stuff, it was pulling that money out. And then I was having to use my PayPal to pay for shipping, which was totally weird. I'm like, what is going on? So then when I started digging deeper, I realized that eBay had charged me $33. So when I looked deeper at it, what I found was they charged me $33 for additional shipping for an item I sold via GSP. The two items together weighed less than a pound. So I searched all over eBay's site trying to figure out how this could happen or why or details. And there really wasn't any details except for they had taken $33 out of my account. And that was all I could really see. So I finally decided to get on the eBay chat. I don't like to make phone calls if I don't have to. I don't know about you guys. I know I probably could have called. There is a number. It exists. Phone calls are like the last form of communication for me. I don't know. I can sit and talk to you guys on, e on YouTube all day, but I don't want to talk to someone on the phone if I don't have to. So I got on the eBay like self-service chat and I spoke with someone named George. I actually have the um, transcript of the chat conversation right here. But basically I explained to him, I've been charged $33 for additional shipping. This item weighed less than a pound. I'm not understanding what this extra shipping is. Is it possible that the items got switched and my buyer's getting the wrong item? Please help. So basically he did a bunch of research. It did take a while. It was about 15 minutes of waiting for him to pull up this information. And what he said was, upon checking it here, this is for the eBay international fee. When they weigh the item, it is for 2.148 pounds. Since, since package billable weight is rounded up to the next greatest weight break, it was rounded up to three pounds, which is $33 for shipping to Germany. Well, I know for a fact that's not the weight. I even double checked because I have four more of these dog harnesses in my basement ready to be shipped. So I actually brought two more up and put them in a poly bag and weighed them again just to be sure. Did I mess up here? Because I really wasn't positive. Like, I, and then, so then I said, no, that can't be. It doesn't weigh two, it doesn't weigh over two pounds. It weighs under one pound. Do they possibly repackage it? 
Could they have possibly have taken these two very small items out and put them in a heavier box that suddenly put it over a pound? Maybe there's a box out that weighs a pound. It's possible. I wasn't sure. Um, so again, he took some time and finally he came back and said, I'm going to have to send this off to our international team and they will get you an answer by tomorrow. This was two days ago. Um, and so I was just sort of left to wait. Now it's $33. It's not the end of the world, but again, I knew what those weighed because I even double checked by weighing them a second time because I still have more of these in my inventory. I will give you the, the outcome right away because they were super fast in handling this. I got an email the very next day from eBay and it basically says, I received a request to contact you in regards to the shipping fee for the item Boots and Barkley Reflective Adjustable Dog Harness. We appreciate the effort, effort you have exerted in reaching out to us regarding this matter. It says, upon checking the details, this is for the eBay international fee. When they weighed the item, it is for 2.148 pounds. Since package billable weight is rounded up to the next greatest weight break, it was rounded up to three pounds, which is $33. Since you mentioned that it was under one pound, we can request a one-time courtesy refund for the shipping fee. You will receive a refund to your bank account on your next payout or within three business days. Amount credited $33, then it gives me the refund ID. I hope this is helpful. I wish you all the best on eBay. Regards. So they did refund my money, which I am very happy about. I'm glad that there's a one-time courtesy refund. Thank you for the courtesy refund. I do appreciate that. What I am going to do moving forward, because now I'm uncomfortable with the process, is whenever I'm shipping something international, I am actually going to take a picture of it with the label on my scale so that I can show its weight. I just feel more comfortable with that because then at least I can prove here is the package, here is the label going to you, and here is what it weighed. Because I don't want this to happen again. The stuff I typically ship internationally is rather small. And that's a big difference from $12 in shipping to $33. The worst part is the buyer paid $12 for shipping. They claim that for three pounds, it's $33, but they charged me a full 33, which means they actually got 45, which is sort of annoying. I'm not going to lie because where did that extra $12 that the buyer paid go? So I guess a couple morals to this story. First, if something seems off, it is 100% worth it to get either on your computer on the chat or on the phone and reach out to eBay and see if you can't get some information and find out why it's happening. It is worth it to reach out to them. In my experience so far, they have always been wonderful to work with. I'm sure there's going to be a time when I don't win and um, it may be my fault, right? People do make mistakes. On this one, I double checked. I know I didn't. Um, but it's worth it to reach out to eBay and have that conversation. And second, double check your, your weights on your international shipping and maybe protect yourself by just taking a photo of the scale with the label on the item, just so you sort of have a little backup if something like this happens to you. I have no idea if this is something that is common. I haven't really even searched YouTube and I sort of search YouTube for everything that happens to me on eBay. I haven't really searched this, so I don't know if this is something that's common or happens to a lot of people, but um, I figured I would at least bring up my experience and how it went down. You know, what we're dealing with here is a lot of humans. I packed it up, I weighed it, I put the label on it, then it goes through the postal service to eBay's location, another human opens it up, checks it, repackages it. There's a lot of room here for human error. So it's more than possible that it's some someplace along the way a mistake was made. As a seller, I think your best bet is to make sure, especially if it's international, that you're just doing your best to cover your butt and have as much evidence as you might need. <clears throat> it's easy to sort of skip over this stuff because you're in a rush, you're packing up five, 10 packages. The last thing you want to do is remember that one that's international, grab it, put it on a scale and take a picture. But in this case, it's worth it. I did find it difficult because um, the track, even the tracking that they use to ship it to eBay makes it difficult to look up what the actual original weight was. I believe I have my receipt from the post office somewhere. I think I, my husband actually does all my shipping. Um, but he typically does take them in and get them scanned and then throw all the receipts in my glove compartment, which once a month I just go take them all out. 
So I'm sure that it that is there as well. But one, hold on to your receipt when you're actually getting your packages scanned in at the post office because that will show what they waited in at. And two, take a photo. It cannot hurt. For me, it was a good outcome, but they didn't say I was right and they were wrong. It was a courtesy. They did me a courtesy. Thank you, eBay, for the courtesy. I do truly appreciate it. But as sellers, we've still got to sort of just make sure we're protecting ourselves in every way that we can. And when it comes to the international, if that shipping's off, you're not talking about a few dollars difference, which sometimes happens with the with the postal service. You're talking about, it could be pretty significant. So just my advice, it turned out okay. It hadn't happened to me before. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day here. The weather has finally cooled off. It's starting to feel a little bit like autumn. The kids are back in school. I can't believe it. Full time back in school. Life almost feels normal, but I don't want to say that. I'm, I'm knocking some wood. I don't want to jinx it, guys. I don't want to jinx it. I hope everyone's sales are going great. I hope all of your businesses and entrepreneurial endeavors are rocking. And thank you all for being a part of my crazy journey. I appreciate you all. Have a beautiful day. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I will help.